So now that we have that part done, I'm going to add a bit of text and I'm going to show you how to use the exact um, official colors. So I'm going to come over here to the text tool, the T and click on there and I'm going to click once and okay, we're at the biggest we are. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit, hitting command plus and then holding down the space bar. I'm going to move over here. And I'm going to type here, um, Fresno City College mock up by Emily Redondo. Okay. Can't see anything. And the reason is because the color is set to all white. So let's go ahead and, um, click on the color. And now we need to get those colors from the website. So I'm going to go back to the website real quick and I'm going to use the web color palette here. I'm just going to highlight this number here and then hit command C to copy it. I'm going to come back to Photoshop and right down here we have a code. Now you'll see that there's a bunch of different ways to insert the code. So if we wanted to actually insert it, um, using, you know, if we were going to use like the RGB or the CMYK, we could do that instead, but we're going to stick to this. So let's get back to here and right here where we have the number sign, I'm going to go ahead and paste that code in with command V. And now we have the exact color that we're supposed to be using. Now this is huge for branding. When you're working with clients, you want to make sure you're using their correct colors. So let's hit okay. And what happened? Let's do that again. Okay. There it is. So in the graphic design standards, it also says to use either Arial or Helvetica. So right now this is at Arial black. Um, I'm just going to change it to regular Arial and I'm going to go ahead and resize this. So it goes across the entire bottom part of the image. Now I'm going to bring my guides back up by hitting a command and the semicolon. And so it looks like I need to add, I'm going to add a guide right here because that's where I want my text to start. And then I'm going to hold down space bar to move over and I'm going to add another guide right over here. There we go. Okay. So now I can go ahead and uh, click on my move tool, make sure I have the text layer selected. I'm going to hit command T to transform. And I'm going to click and drag until this hits this line here and then click and drag till this hits this line here. Then I'm going to click and drag and pull this up a bit. All right, cool. I'm going to hit return to keep that. I'm going to hit command semicolon to get rid of these guides again. Okay. So now we've just added text using the official Fresno city college colors.